the Speakers Bank Podcast. Our voices, our views. Welcome to Speakers Bank Podcast. Our voices, voices our views. views. Today we are introducing a Diane, Ioano, at Belfield, and we're going to be talking about uh, keeping health and positive aging. Now, the first question, Diane, we just want to ask you, so you can show us that older people can still do a lot of things in in life, even if they're advanced stages in life. What are the some of your topics, the top tips to keep a healthy lifestyle? Mm-hmm. My age is only a, a number. number. <laughs> I'm a healthy woman. Nobody can beat me. My brain is full speed. I know how to navigate my brain. I'm yes. helping people and I will help people and do everything that I do around my house because I'm very, very fussy until I drop dead. We can see that, Diane. For question number two, you talk about eating healthy. What are some of the types of food older people can consider eating to keep them healthy? Well, people, they have to think before they reach really 60. They have Mm -hmm. to start from 50 and eat properly green veggies, uh, black beans, it's good for them. Uh-huh. I eat only black beans. Yes, black beans. good for you. Uh-huh. Yes, green stuff. Yeah. Uh-huh. I get good breakfast in the morning. Yeah. Very healthy breakfast. Uh-huh. Two toast with a lot, a lot of peanut butter. Wow. Just a little bit of honey. Honey. And jam? Uh, no jam, no. That's my favorite. Avocado. Avocado. And right. that keeps me healthy and I don't feel hungry. Lunchtime I eat only fruit mm-hmm. and then I eat only once a day in the afternoon around 6.30, 7 o'clock and even I don't feel hungry because of the avocado and the peanut butter and I eat green stuff, Mm -hmm. a bit of eye fillet, a lot, a lot of really sardines, a bit of fish, uh, meat only twice a week. A week. Not a lot. Not too much. No. Um, Looking at you, Diane, now, you're looking very fit. How do you manage about your health? And you still do exercise? Or taking vitamins, tablets that keeping you no, busy? No, no vitamins, no vitamins. No vitamins? No, no Panadols, no medication because I was a pharmacist and I used to do medication out of herbs, so I don't like medication. I don't even touch a Panadol. I have no pains. If I got a pain, I do something, occupy myself, and I forget my pain. That's what I do. It's the brain, how to navigate your brain. It's the most important for all our body. Also, Diane, uh, I just want to know, how would you encourage other people to keep active? Well, they have to be active if they want to do it. They have to try. (laughs) Move their hands. They gotta move around, isn't it? Do the best. I clean all my house, everything, everything. I'm fussy. I do a dust up and I <laughs> and, and I still even do dressmaking. Oh, hey, no. Nice. Because it's my nice. hobby. That's my hobby since, too. Since I was a child, yes. I wanted to dress myself yeah. with my own hands. Mm-hmm. And Did you God. buy a sewing machine? Sewing machine? Yes. I had a factory. Oh, wow. I had a f- business, I had a factory. What are you talking about? I'm still doing alteration. You can still... Uh, yes, it. it's still there. Yes, and not only that, I discovered yes. from the TV 
Yes. That instead of carrying a big ready sewing machine, yeah, I just received it just now. You just bought one. It's a special one, a little one. A little one from one direct. Yes. <laughs> how much is it? Twenty dollars. I don't know how much it was. I, I could get less how much. Yeah. So they said uh, one and we give you a second one. So I got a friend of mine that she's older than me and she always does something and I said to her, I promise you when I'll get the second one, it will be yours. Right. Now you're telling us that your hobby is um, sewing. So sewing and also cooking, making cooking. really, oh, oh, oh yes, oh yes. The school that I went, yes. really, we had the best school back home. So, I really choose that. Yep. High school it was one with Latin and algebra, and mm -hmm. the other one, instead of Latin and algebra, it yes. was cooking and dressing. And I thought, no, I'm going to the uh, cooking classes. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want algebra and things like that. So I learned really through school three languages, yeah. three, and then and that one of the hobby too. Well, I speak to different languages, people, languages yeah, yeah. and they feel happy because they understand me and they trust me to tell, to tell their story. Yeah. This is a very, very, really helpful to the community. Uh -huh. And uh, what can older people look after their mental health? Mental health? Yeah. <laughs> they have to work. Once you work and things like that, it keeps your brain busy. And not only that, make sure first thing in the morning, a glass of water. And before you go to bed, a glass of water, because the brain works 24 hours and needs water. No water? No, 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 no. no. Water is good for your system. Yeah. And keep that in mind. <laughs> Water. Keep your mental yes. health going. So, do you have any advice to our listeners to today well, for positive um, health? Well, if they want to be healthy, yeah. they have to eat properly. Yeah. Not a lot. Mm -hmm. Good breakfast. And lots and lots of fruit. Yeah. Green stuff not a lot of meat, fish, even sardines or cutlets or whatever in tins, it's good for them. Mm -hmm. Black beans, green stuff, it's yeah. good for them. Peanut butter, avocado, it's really... Is it good. your favorite peanut butter? Peanut butter I eat a lot. <laughs> <laughs> even before I go to bed, I have to have a toast with peanut butter and avocado. Yes. I got a Filipino friend of mine that I, she asked me to adopt her and I adopt her and she brings me big containers of peanut butter. Oh, okay. So, so that's why I'm healthy. Yeah. I don't need anybody to touch my stuff. I clean my place, I clean myself and everything. So with those veggies you're talking about, do you plant your own um, own garden? Back here? No, 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 no. I haven't got time to do things like that. Oh, okay. I'm not, I'm not a country girl. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm from the city. You're the city girl. I'm city. Only I love flowers, and I got a few flowers just on my veranda. That's all. Yes. Well, thank you very much, Diane, for um, um, sharing with us your stories, and um, thank you for everyone watching us on our podcasting. If you have any questions or know anyone with questions for us, please contact us on 03 9314 or visit our website at www.speakersbank.com.au. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Speakers Bank.